Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Sunday Morning Simulcast with Rom Wills. You cannot solve a problem in the same mindset that created the problem. Now, that's an old saying. Some people might say mindset, some people might say consciousness. I know uh, one person attributed that statement to Albert Einstein. I'm not sure. It's like one of those statements, one of those sentiments that get passed around so much. You're not sure where it came from. It could have been someone. In, it could have been someone in a tavern somewhere, like drunk out of their minds, and they said it. Hey, hey. Sometimes when people get that, uh, you know, those spirits on them. They literally get that spirit on them. <laughs> oh man, but. The thing is, you cannot think a certain way, have a certain mindset, and a problem is created from it, and think that same mindset is going to solve the problem. Let me give an example, a common thing. Like somebody might get on a job, and they have a mindset of doing a half-assed job. They 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 do just enough work. They do just enough work, and then on top of that, they're not always on top... They're not always uh, on time for work, on top of their jobs, <laughs> whatever. they just doing just enough. It creates a problem. You know, depending on the job, the hours get cut, then eventually they get laid off. Now they have a problem. They, not, they, can't, they can't have trouble finding another job. They need money. You know, they don't want to get kicked out. They, they shoot. They want to keep that food flowing. But... They ain't going to get another job with that same mindset. And I've actually seen that with plenty of people. They ain't going to get another job. If they want that another job, they're going to have to change that mindset. Okay, the problem. They don't have a job, and they don't have a job because they had a certain mindset. All right, solution. Change that mindset, then go for another job. Now, the person, same person go for another job because they changed their mindset. They work hard. They on time for work. They really pay attention to what they're doing. Boom, the problem solved. And that's most problems, because let's be real, most problems are man-made. Now, I know if something happens, some natural disaster, that's something. Okay, well, you know, uh, God is beyond all of us. You know, an act of God is way beyond all of us. But if you really think about (laughs) the problems that we have, we can point to it. Like, say somebody has a car and... They really don't, they, they don't keep up the oil changes, rotate the tires, pay attention to that little funny light that says check engine, and then the car eventually breaks down, you know? Oh, yeah, change the tires, all that stuff. The car breaks down on the middle of the highway. If they want to solve the problem of having cars breaking down on them, they got to change that mindset that got that car to begin with. They got to change to a mindset of, Oh, I'm going to keep this fixed. I'm going to keep oil in this car. I'm going to change the tires. I'm going to rotate the tires. I'm going to keep it clean. All of a sudden, it's changed. In relationships, I'm known for talking about relationships. Somebody might have that mindset where they don't give 100% when they end the relationship. But yet, they still want a good relationship. How are they going to get that? They got the same mindset that says, oh, I don't have to give them 100%. Oh, I don't have to show them respect. Oh, I don't have to, you know, be cooperative. Yeah, they got their mindset, but then they think they're going to find that perfect mate with the same mindset. And that's the issue. That's the, that's the main issue. And like I said, unless it's an act of God, and even in that thing, it's how you, it's how you do it. You say one person, they might have that mindset like, oh, woe is me and everything. You know, maybe their house gets destroyed in a a hurricane or something or by a fire. But the mindset that they have, they didn't have good insurance. They didn't have anything to fall back on because they had a mindset of, oh, I don't need this, I don't need this. You know, instead of having a mindset of, okay, let me take care of everything. Because even, even an act of God, the results of it, you can be solved by being in the right mindset. And that's the thing. See, I'm going to tell you the most powerful thing that a person can do in this world is change how they think about something. I mean, look, you can create a whole reality just off of changing your thoughts. Even, I mean, everything changes. Like, say you're a person and nobody seems to be friendly to you and stuff. 
or people who are mean to you when you interact with them. But the real issue is your mindset is you're not the friendliest person. You you don't interact with people in a friendly manner. You might be a little snarky or something like that that actually invokes them to treat you the way they do. How do you solve that problem? Change your mindset, you know? Be friendlier, be more cooperative, be nicer. <laughs> be nicer. All of a sudden, it's changed. All of a sudden, you, you get plenty of friends. And every I'm going to tell you what. Power. Power. Power comes from the mind. The mind is powerful. It's just changing how you think, your mindset it, cre- it creates everything. If you look at successful people, they have a certain mindset. Because if you look at the stories of successful people, they had bad times. They went through it. You've had people um, who've gone down. They've been homeless. They've had uh, bad relationships. It's all in the mindset. Like, for example, let me use the relationship example again. Say there's a man and, you know, his woman leaves him. She leaves him. We got, I ain't going to get into the actions of why she left him, but she left him. Now, if he has a negative mindset, he's like, woe is me, and he'll just go, he'll just keep going down. He'll actually destroy himself. He might start drinking, using drugs, something, being depressed. But his mindset took him in that, on that path. Now, take another man, same circumstance, terrible circumstances, too. You know, they're just like, yeah, she left me for this other dude, this bum dude and all of that. But his mindset is positive. His mindset is like, okay, I guess I ain't really need her anyway. He might write a book about how he got over it or write a song and become a millionaire. (laughs) Hey, listen to some of these songs. He becomes a millionaire. Because he had a positive mindset. He looked at it like, okay, well, she ain't with me anymore. What can I do to, let me see the positive side. Okay, this woman who I can, I shouldn't need, didn't need to trust anyway just proved it, so let me move on. And indeed, that mindset would probably get him a better woman. And it's just that simple. You just got to change your mindset. Change your mindset, change your life. If you have a problem, Look at the mindset that you're in when you have that problem. And the best way to solve it is just to change your mindset. Because you cannot, if that mindset was created by, if that problem was created by a certain mindset, that same mindset ain't going to solve that same problem. It's not. People try anyway, but I haven't seen it work. So that's all I have for today. I want you all to really think about that. Really You want to change things, change your thinking, change your mindset, solve problems, change the mindset that the problem was created in. So that's all I have for today. Peace and blessings. Keep rising.